Welcome back, Sebastian here. Time for my preview for the 2024 Formula One Canadian Grand Prix. So first, taking a look at last year's result. Uh, it was won by Max Verstappen uh, coming home uh, from uh, Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton. Some notable moments from that race uh, was that it was a really poor race for George Russell, of course, colliding with the wall uh, and damaging his front wing. Uh, it was a really strong race pace from Ferrari after a really tough qualifying session where they started 10th and 11th on the grid. Uh, there was also a, a collision between Magnussen and De Vries, uh, which led to a safety car. Now, of course, uh, this Grand Prix is held at the Circuit Gilles Villeneuve in Montreal. Uh, definitely, I would say it's a fan favorite. Uh, 4.361 kilometers total. Uh, we should have 70 laps on Sunday, but the weather may interfere with that. Uh, the lap record is 113.078 set by Valtteri Bottas in 2019, which is of course uh, the last year uh, of this track in the pre-ground effect regulations. Uh, as for the track itself, uh, lots of slow speed corners, lots of chicane, so uh, being able to change direction uh, with a, you know, while maintaining the stability of the car will be important, as will corner exit, because there's quite a few straights here and three DRS zones. Uh, there's lots of walls, very little runoff as well, so there is a high risk of safety cars at this track. Now, something that's been talked about a bit coming into this weekend has been the curbs. Uh, Max Verstappen uh, and Red others at Red Bull have been making comment about how they don't think that this track will suit them particularly well uh, because of the an inherent flaw with their uh, design of their car, which makes it very difficult for them to ride curbs. Uh, and this was a track that they basically called out and said, yeah, we're probably not going to do very well here. So definitely, that's something to keep an eye on going into this weekend. Uh, in terms of best places to make an overtake, I would say turn 13, of course, the, the entry of that chicane where you have the wall of champions on the exit, uh, the hairpin at turn 10 uh, as well. I guess if you get uh, with the double DRS down the main, the two back straights or two front straights, I guess, depending on how you think about it, uh, you can also make moves into turn one. Now, uh, let's see, for the tires this weekend, uh, we're going, going with the softest three tires in the Pirelli range, so the C5, C4, and C3. So the same tires that we saw last time out in Monaco. As for the schedule this weekend, uh, of course, no feature, no, no uh, support series, uh, or none of the big support series like F2 or F3, uh, but there usually are some Ferraris and Porsches out on track. Uh, for schedule Friday, FP1, uh, 1.30 p.m. local time, FP2, 5 p.m. local time. Then we get to Saturday, FP3, 12.30 in the, uh, in the afternoon, and then qualifying is 4 p.m. Uh, Grand Prix on Sunday, uh, 2 in the afternoon. And now, of course, uh, for the weather this weekend, according to Google, could have some rain this weekend. So uh, for Friday, degree uh, track temperature 21 degrees uh, for that second session, high chance about 50% or more of rain. Saturday, 19 degrees for the qualifying session, and again, a uh, good chance of rain. Then we get to Sunday, 18 degrees, and again, uh, another chance of rain. As far as I can tell, it doesn't look like it's guaranteed to be rain all the time, but it looks like it's 50 to 60% chance of rain through most of the day, so that suggests to me that's going to be showers on and off, uh, which could lead to, uh, lead to a really interesting race on Sunday. Qualifying again, kind of a question mark. You don't know if it's going to be a dry session, wet session, or a mixture of the two. So uh, first, next, uh, before finishing off with predictions, I'm going to talk about uh, the drivers who have the best track record uh, at this circuit uh, in qualifying. So uh, this is what percentage of the time they out-qualify, they've out-qualified their teammate at this track. Uh, so best in the best category is actually Fernando Alonso. At least since 2010, he has 100% rate of, uh, of uh, out-qualifying his opponent. Average uh, qualifying margin, 0 0.654 seconds. Second, Lewis Hamilton, 83%, not a surprise there. Uh, he's famous for being very good at this track. This was the track he won his first Grand Prix at. Average qualifying margin, 0 0.395 seconds. And then third, maybe a bit of a surprise, Nico Hulkenberg, 70%. Average out qualifying margin is 0 0.402 seconds. Now, looking at the worst category, uh, two drivers who aren't really surprised have frequently been in this uh, category uh, so far this year, and then one who's a uh, pretty big surprise. So, uh, worst driver uh, in terms of percentages at this track is Lance Stroll, his home track 20%. Uh, 
and his average margin, qualifying margin is 0 0.408 seconds in the negative. Uh, for Charles Leclerc, number two, 25%, quite surprising there, but that margin is very, very close, outqualified by a margin on average of 0 0.005 seconds, so five, five thousandths of a second. And then number three, finally, is uh, Sergio Perez, 30%, uh, average margin 0 0.206 seconds. So now finishing up with some predictions, I think I was actually considering for the first time either in the history of this channel or the first time in a very long time actually predicting someone other than Max Verstappen to win the Grand Prix. But I think with the wet conditions that will definitely throw a spanner in the works and we know how good Verstappen is in, in wet conditions. So for those reasons, uh, I'm still going to predict a Verstappen win, but I do think that if it was if it was completely dry, I might go a different way. Uh, for second and third, uh, lots of slow speed corners. We saw how strong Ferrari were in those corners uh, at Montreal, so I'm going to go with uh, Leclerc second. Uh, rounding out the podium, I think it's a hard hard one to go for. I think I would probably go for either the other Ferrari of Carlos Sainz, or I would go with one of the McLarens. So either Norris or Sainz. Uh, this time out, I think I'm going to go with uh, Sainz. We know that the McLaren's biggest strength is uh, high high speed corners. Not a whole lot of that here. Uh, and Sainz was pretty good here in 2022. Could have had a chance of winning the Grand Prix. So uh, for that, for those reasons, this is going to be my prediction for the Grand Prix on Sunday. A Verstappen win with uh, the two Ferraris rounding out the podium. Of course, if it's wet, that can throw up spanner in the works, make things very really unpredictable. And in all likelihood, the podium will look very, very different from what I have written down. But there you go. There's my uh, preview for the 2024 Canadian Grand Prix. Uh, looking forward to it quite a bit. Should be a good one. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you again after qualifying on, I guess, Sunday morning for me. Goodbye.